In this tutorial, I will show you how to make appear or disappear an element or an object drawn on your drawing space. So one of the simplest effects to use is the effect transition, fade. So I create a key, I go at the end and I will increase the transparency value in order to make my blue rectangle disappeared. But this is really simple to do. There are more subtle effects that we can use to have a prettier result. So at the moment I will switch off the layer and I will create a new anim layer. I delete the fade and I will use one of the numerous custom brushes from the tool preset and I will use especially use this brush just here. I will use some red, and I will draw here on the drawing space. And now I will take another color, like the yellow, and I will add different uh, gradient, different nuance of colors. So once my wonderful masterpiece is done, I have the possibility to take the effect keying color keyer. Color keyer's role is to take a color and make it vanish. So I will increase the duration of my layer like this. I will pick up not the red, but the yellow. I will lower the tolerance and the softness, and I will create a key. Then I go at the end. Oh, sorry. First I will go at the middle and I will increase the softness uh, value in order to have this rendering. And at the end, I will increase a lot the tolerance. And so, the whole colors will disappear thanks to the color key. So I can apply this on all instances and on frames. And now, since I would like to affect the blue rectangle, I will turn the layer with the color key effect has been applied into a stencil, but into this time into a negative stencil. Now the stencil is active, I have the possibility to select half frames like this. And so I don't need the, the FX stack anymore. I will hit backspace shortcut. So I remember you, backspace corresponds to the school in order to delete some elements on the blue rectangle being affected by the layer where the color key has been applied. If you want to do the contrary, so the blue rectangle will appear, just select the frames, make a right click and reverse selected images. So you can combine several times this effect, combined with other effects, we can have some very nice rendering that simulates a little bit the, the end credits of a very famous film that talks about a detective during Victoria's Queen London. Another very handy effect to make appear an element is to use the auto paint feature. Let me just create a new project. So we may find the auto paint in the paint subcategory, just here. So the special effect will allow you to record a stroke so I will click here on the record a stroke. I will just take another color because yellow on white, it's not really comfortable. 
and I will record my stroke. And then I can stop recording. And you can see we have many little keys that have been added. I can er erase now the, the content of my drawing space. I don't need it anymore. And I will increase the duration of my instance, yep, like this. And if we scrub now in the timeline, we will see, if I check preview, we will see the drawing that appears like this. You can also check elements like pressure or even altitude in order to have another rendering. And something very nice, without a penny, the fact it can um, adapt itself following the drawing tool you were previously using. So here I was still using the watercolor. But if, for example, I use now um, the feather, I check preview again, I will have a different rendering. And here we have many little red square box. Here we have many red squares. Those red squares are just the numerous keys that have been recorded with the auto paint. So if you don't want to see them, you can uncheck the HUD just here. Another example where a special effect can be really useful. Here, for example, we have a bucket with some uh, piece of water. And let's imagine I would like to see the water that overflow slowly the ground. So here I have the optical flow already available. If you remember, or at least if you have watched the previous tutorials, I presented you the random option in the optical flow. Here I will use the normal one. By the way, I remember you, the optical flow can be found into distortion optical flow. I will enable the HUD and the preview. And so these effects will allow me to move elements like this. If I create a key, and then here I have the possibility to undo. possibility to take the different points and tear that water out of the bucket. And here we are. 